Today's video is powered by Hawpog. Skip it up and that up. I hate when corporations say things just to be politically correct, and you know there's something else going on behind the scenes, but they try to give this like you know answer that doesn't make them seem bad. It's all about it. It's about everything else. It's about other circumstances, except you know the, the fact that they want to make a profit and they don't think a certain piece of hardware or a certain company is profitable for them or they had a fallout and they're pissed because they wanted to do something i.e. EA wanted Origins on the Wii U and Nintendo told them to go kick a rock and now they're pissed at them and on top of it, I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that the Wii U is slow in sales right now so anyway what am I talking about so Johan Anderson he works for DICE uh he tweeted today, the new Star Wars games we at EA Dice and Visceral Games will make will all be built with Frostbite 3. Yay! Then he has a link to an article talking about it. Um, then this guy named Muted Penguin, which he has a picture of uh, Teletubbies as his picture with a dude with the mustache in it. Um, might be Hitler. Anyway, he writes back, uh, sadly none for Wii U then, despite the fact that Frostbite 3 was running on the platform initially and then halted. Shame. Now, Johan Anderson's ego takes over, and I guess he feels a little ass hurt by that. I don't know why. Um, you know, whatever. He writes back, Frostbite 3 has never been running on the Wii U. We did some tests with it. Not too promising results with Frostbite 2, and chose not to go down that path. All right, how can I put this um, professionally? Oh, shut the fuck up. You're having Battlefield 4 for the PS3 and Xbox 360, seven-year-old consoles. All right, now you could go into how much more powerful the Wii U is. You could go, it's only 50% more powerful, whatever. But it's obviously, let's just say the worst case scenario. And yes, I know it's more powerful, but I'm just saying it's just as powerful as like the PS3. You're coming out with it for the PS3. You couldn't come out with it for the, the Wii U? Come on, I'm not, I don't, look, you're not coming out with it for it. That's not the point of this video, but obviously there's something else going on, All right? You had Crisis 3 running on, it was, you, they said it was, they basically could just had to slap it on a disc and manufacture it and get it to the store shelves, but EA stopped it because there was some issue between Nintendo and EA. There's something else going on. I've read articles in places all over that, EA's pissed off they couldn't have uh, Origin as a digital distribution thing on the Wii U. Nintendo was like, you know, go kick a rock. It's not happening. I also heard that it's just because the Wii U is not selling as well as they wanted to yet. But don't make a BS that it can't handle a game when you have consoles that are almost a decade old that you're developing your next Battlefield for. It's ridiculous. It's obviously bullshit. If you weren't coming out, you know, I would make, give it a little more credit if you weren't coming out with Battlefield 4 for the current gen consoles and wait until the 720 and PS4 are released. But this is so obviously political corporate rhetoric. It's ridiculous, man. You should have just shut up because I know Trey called you out on this too. And you guys, look, you guys know I've said bad things about the Wii U too. And then when I defend the Wii U, I'm a fanboy. Either way, I don't win. But hey, when there's bullshit out there i'm gonna call the bullshit and johan obviously this is bullshit <laughs> come on man yeah you can't make it for the wii u but you can make it for the xbox 360 anyway guys leave your thoughts about this in the comment section below do you think he's actually telling the truth that battlefield 4 and frostbite 3 can't run on the wii u even though they could run on the ps3 and xbox 360 or you're just or you think he's just saying that to shut people up which that's in the camp that i'm in make sure to rate comment favorite and subscribe and if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss private message me with a link via youtube and if i use your news article i will give you a shout out in the video and feature your youtube channel in the description